is the uh, old style board and the two white columns with pins are what I'm referring to with, re with regard to what has now ceased to be available. Uh, this board came on my helicopter back in the summer of this year, 2012, and it was a very convenient way of connecting the uh, main motors. Use the pause if you want to check some of the uh, labels on there. The other connection points which are labelled are still valid on the new style circuit board. It might be of interest to note that I've disconnected all the LEDs. Didn't really want to bother with those. Well, here's the replacement board and the difference should be pretty obvious. No pin blocks. Instead, there are just two diodes, which I think are in series in front of each of the uh, driver transistors. So uh, now we'll move on to the underneath of the boards. Now we're mainly going to be interested in the uh, underneath of the circuit board. So let's take a look at the old one first. Uh, the labels show the positions of various things. It should be possible to see that the front and rear motor pins are fairly obvious to see. Anyway, this will help with some identification if you're unsure. Here's the underneath of the new board. In fact, the uh, changes in PCB tracking are pretty minute. You may not even notice any. The, the important point here is to note the colored rings. The uh, lower left red ring is a common positive and the two black rings will be supplying individual negatives to each motor. And the next, uh, the next picture will go into more detail on this. Here I've removed all the other labels except for trying to detail the new connections you have to make. So lower left, take two red wires solder them together onto that point I've marked with the red circle. Those are your common positives, one for each motor. And then the black circles, these are your negatives. Each one is specific to one motor and I'm referring to the motors as the front motor and the back motor. So take note of that and you shouldn't go too far wrong. It's quite possible when you've soldered your new wires into the correct places, you can either wire direct to the motor wires themselves or have some interim wires and connectors. I wanted to try and reproduce the pin option and this just shows a, a block, a very small block with pins already embedded. It came out of the bits and pieces box. and. Uh, this was cut to make two pairs of pins. The pitch of the pins is ideal and the length is pretty ideal as well. Uh, if you haven't got anything like that, you might be able to dream up something else to act as pins, as long as you're careful with insulation. So having put some flying leads on, soldered in place, uh, this is how it finished up. Uh, it's a front view. The uh, new wire connections are heat shrunk onto the back of those little pin elements I showed you. And those go straight into the existing female connectors. Uh, so I put about, about a couple of inches or so of extra flying lead. So these uh, connectors are fairly high up and accessible. The yellow and white I didn't refer to earlier, they're the wires to the tail motor. Finally then just one other view, this is from the side and above showing these connectors put together. It's hard to see every detail but hopefully the cumulative effect of the pictures I've shown will give enough idea as to what you've got to do. 
take care with polarity, insulation, and it should be fairly obvious that the uh, configuration that's there is uh, the driver transistors are controlling the main motors on the negative leads. Just to mention, although you can connect the motor wires direct to the circuit board, if you do use flying leads and pins or some other connectors, make sure that your wire is rated sufficiently. Uh, the current consumption isn't particularly high, but don't use any wire that's too skinny or it might overheat. Uh, well, we hope this helps in case anybody else gets the same problem. It may just uh, speed you through the headaches and get you flying again. I've already got this configured and the helicopter's ready to fly, I'm glad to say. In conclusion, uh, if something that's been shown here is not clear enough, feel free to post a comment, question, and I'll try and help out. But hopefully this will clarify things for people who have found the same problem. Thanks for watching.